guys, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel. It is day two of the 12 days of Christmas. Yes, I got, got it. it this time. It's not the countdown to Christmas anymore. <laughs> today we watched, well, the other day, I should say, last night, we watched The Children, which is a British horror movie. And it's very, very disturbing. It is directed by Tom Shanklin, and it stars, oh, there's words. What does that say? Uh, first off, first, yeah. first thistle, first we're, thistle, we're gonna say, we're gonna go and again. Stephen Campbell Moore. <laughs> first thistle, first thistle. Uh, sure. Anyway, <laughs> this movie is set after Christmas, yes. between Christmas and New Year. That weird week that where time and space doesn't exist. Mm. That's where if you can hear little clitter clatters. If my dogs are not happy with me right now, they're like one. They'll be one. okay. Yeah. Um. It's right after Christmas and just before New Year's, because I believe the end of it is like New Year's Eve or something. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Um, a family all gets together at their sister's house. Yeah, it's two sisters. Yeah. They go to visit yeah, their it, sister yeah. for this week. They bring all their kids. One of them is sick, which spreads around it to the, uh, the whole crew. There's a lot of kids. Is. They're, like, they're, they're baby two, making three. machines. There's five of them. There's five of them, yeah. <laughs> like, well, if you count the teen girl, which we'll get back to. Yeah. But this virus is like the rage virus. This turns the kids into monsters, and it only affects children. Children, yeah. So, <laughs> this one is not. This one's gnarly, and it's bloody, but not in the same way that Christmas Bloody Christmas is. It's different. This right? is a different kind of movie altogether. This is mean spirited and nasty, mm -hmm. but in a more serious way. <laughs> um, trigger warnings. I, I'm not big for trigger warnings, but these are some big ones. I know animals are a big thing for me. I like to know going in if the dog's gonna die. That's mm -hmm. why there's a website called Does the Dog Die? There's a cat. The cat does die. You don't see it. No, it's all. But it's implied. Uh, you, I don't even think you see the corpse of the cat, do you? You don't, no. No, I it's implied. You, you see the, yeah. Yeah. You hear the cat, you see the scratch on the girl, you see the bloody collar, and the girl makes the cat noises. Yeah. She's creepy. She's the creepiest yeah. of all of them. But that's it. The, the kids, they're psycho killer kids. Um, spoiler-ish, <laughs> they kill people in the most creepiest, calculated ways. That's yeah, what makes like them creepy, because they... they're smart. Like, they figure out from the beginning to the end of like, every plan. Like, yeah, and these are, like, little kids, yeah. too. Like, one of them's, like, two or three years old. That's the other trigger warning. These kids die. <laughs> Spoiler for that. But children die in this movie. And, and they their die. deaths are the more brutal ones. Yeah. Hmm. But by the time we get around to them children dying, mm -hmm. you're almost rooting for this to happen. Pretty like, much. It's sad as a child, but... Get that bitch. This is like if Cooties was serious. You said that last night. Yeah. It's like if, if Cooties, Cooties was serious. If Cooties was turned up, basically. If, if like, you turned up the creepiness, the scariness, yeah. and turned down the silliness of yeah. Cooties. Because this is not this. Okay, there are funny parts in the movie, yes. Well, yeah, it's funny just because it's like, ah. Uh, <laughs> it all depends on your humor. Yeah. Like. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Like, to me, I really laugh a lot when, like, first kid gets killed because you're like, oh, okay. Well, not when he gets killed. When the teen girl picks him up and yeets him across the frame, I'm like, you deserve it. Um, There's a lot of gaslighting in this. So the kids gaslight hardcore, yeah. which makes them creepier. Mm -hmm. These kids are fucking menace to society. I, I, they're, they're terrifying. <laughs> yeah. um, it, it, the whole movie makes you really uneasy. From the beginning, right to the end, uh, it, like... It makes you, it gives you that uncomfortable feeling. Yeah, like, like you're, you're almost on, like, like... Like you said, like you're on edge. Yeah, the whole oh, time. And yeah. the the way it's edited in like really quick cuts sometimes. You think something's going to happen, but then it don't. And then you think something's going to happen, then the it don't. The camera focuses on... On weird things. Yes, and the things that's like, in my opinion, that's going to kill either the children or it's going to kill... Yeah, the, like, usually the parents. Yeah. Like, um... The deaths in this could be ruled, like, especially at the beginning, like, the first one is almost accidental. Mm -hmm. We know it's not an accident. No, no. But it looks like an accident. The kids make it look like an accident. Don't the kids worry. are so scary, man, when they're screaming and stuff. Don't worry, he's got the kids going up on the, on the ladder. The... That's, that's not a death? 
but he's on the monkey bars. That's in the trailer, so that's not a huge spoiler. He, the mom is trying to get him down. He's like, I'm scared, I'm scared. And he just and he backs back up back and back and lures her up, and she's wearing. And it's so funny because we were watching this, and I saw her run around. And I was just about to mention who runs around in heels like that outside in the winter. Exactly. Because she's wearing these boots that are just not practical. And you would and she's climbing up this metal ladder like monkey bars. Yeah. And she slips, and her leg goes between, and just snaps. And the kid it's did it on so purpose. Cring- it's so cringy. Like. Oh, and then the rest of the freaking climax of the movie, she has her leg broken. She has a splint. Yeah. And just as they're leaving, one of the kids grabs the splint, takes the sticks, and is like, "Good luck." Good luck. Yeah. Or, uh, be nice to the kids or something, and yeah. like takes off. And is like, "Oh my well, god!" I gotta <laughs> say, every kill in this movie it's is cringy. is. Yeah, it's cringy, it's gruesome. And it's like, off screen. Yeah. To the point, like, <laughs> it's not completely off screen. It's no. not like everybody's off screen to death. They are off screen. Yep. But it's not to the point where it bothers you like some movies. Some movies you go into and you want to see the kill. The aftermath of the kill is enough. The implication, this is like, I was saying it's a lot like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, mm-hmm. the first one. Yeah. It's the implication of what's happening. You don't necessarily what? have to see it. <laughs> like with the camera, the way they, they're, they're working the camera, like one, uh, as soon as someone's about to die, they'll cut away. Yeah, and, they'll and then cut some... back, and like you don't think you're gonna see it. You don't think, and then all of a sudden, oh, yep, there's the wound. <laughs> you'll see the wound, or you'll see the blood. The blood, and like the blood, the the shot of the blood soaking into the snow is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. yeah. The two kids attacking the mom. Mm-hmm. That's completely like off screen and implied. Like they cut away before much happens, but you know they ripped her to fucking pieces. Oh, big time! They were starting to like rip out her earrings, and they had their hands in her mouth, like, yeah. "Oh, mommy, mommy!" And just yeah. no, no, like, this is birth kids, control. The movie. The parents don't understand what the kids are like. Mommy, mommy, they I'm think not like, well, "Oh, like, they're sick, they're sick." And they'll be out there, they're fucking sick already. Right. Yeah. And then they keep blaming it on the older teenager girl mm-hmm. because she's like jealous of the kids and. I felt for her for most of it because I've been in that position where you're like, the kids get on your nerves, the, you're too old, young to hang out with the parents, like, they're all cringy because, you know, your drunk parents talking all dirty and stuff makes you uncomfortable, and then the kids are all annoying, you're in that age where, like, you don't fit in anywhere in the family. Yeah. And then suddenly people start dying, and they start blaming her because she doesn't want to be there, she wants to go to a party, and she should be uh, watching the kids, and... Her going to her the team, her dad is such an oh, asshole. Oh, he's an ass. He's an ass like, from the beginning. You want him to die from the beginning. Like spoiler, uh, he ends up spanking his child. Yes. Like, to the point where, uh, like, <clears throat> and that was just for like an accident. Like, um, that was actually like the foreshadowing to the sled death yeah. because the slide came down and hit Missy. Yeah. And she spilled the coffee onto the dad. Yeah. And he got so mad, he ran up and started, like, beating on the child. Yeah. I was like, no, we don't do that. No. Even even the other the other parents says that. Like, what uh, the we, hell is wrong with do you? We don't here. We don't hit kids. Like, like, he, he's an ass from the beginning. So, uh, it's, it's glad and he he's hates. worried about is his work. It's work. And something to do with, something business, with China. What, like, something like, he wants to move to China. He's, not he's teaching the kids Chinese. About, he's not even concerned about Christmas or no. kids or anything like that. He does. The one thing he's concerned about is work. I don't like him, no. and I'm very glad when he dies, but, mm-hmm. yeah. You definitely should, if you, <laughs> this is a disturbing one, it's not like Serbian film disturbing, but it's disturbing. Still, you know, you know what this feels like to me? It gives me even like It does. It, I guess we're also, too, where it's British, a British movie, um, it do feel a lot like Eden Lake, where, mm-hmm. like, yeah. like, man, what's a British movie, in, in, like, evil psycho kids. Because that's about movies, psycho kids do. Most movies over in Europe are like that. Yeah, they, like, like, they like, don't care. They don't give a shit, man. Yeah. They are nasty and mean, and mm-hmm. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, I think if, if you like that kind of movie, like that's more tense, that's more uncomfortable to watch, and you don't mind seeing a bunch of kids get killed, yeah, check this one out. Absolutely. So your favorite kill is... Uh, is Robbie. Yes, the slide. The slide yeah. one. Um, in this one... <laughs> The nicer dad, which gets confused, his wife gets confused, thinks that he's like hitting on his niece when it's all a big misunderstanding. Yeah. She's just trying to be cool and he's just admiring her tattoo, really. Yeah. But the, <laughs> the slide comes down. He's on the slide. They spin him around and around and around playing a game, mm-hmm. spin around. Yep. 
and make him go down the hill in the slide while he's disoriented, while the other kid pulls over a bunch of garden tools and he smashes into that and the, the claw. And going back to the camera, they like, don't, they don't show, show it. it. They don't show the impact. But at and the they show him a few times and like the blood coming out from him and like, oh, yeah. he's really hurt. And you see him like the blood on his face. But at the end of you can and see then his... They touch his head and the skin pulls back and it's like, okay, this is also the first and the death just at the movie. Pull, just and like he doesn't die right away. No. And more things happen to him before he dies, because mm -hmm. they think he's dead. And he's not. No. And then fucked up shit happens to him with the little girl in the tent. Mm -hmm. That I'll leave that one be. What yeah. else happens to this poor guy? But his initial Yeah, crazy. Mine is Polly. <laughs> because when Polly dies, mm -hmm. That's when you really know that, oh my, we're not afraid to kill a child. Polly is the first kid that's sick. Mm -hmm. He's also the first kid that gets killed. And the way he gets <clears throat> killed. They beat the shit out of him first. Yeah. They throw him all over the place, but he's like coming at the... Let's see what a pair of scissors or an animal, like, whatever he can get his hands when on. When you see a child come with a pair of scissors... And to save her older child, yeah. the mom pulls Polly back and throws him accidentally. It's an accident, yeah. but she was trying to get him not to stab the older one. And he lands neck first onto shattered glass. And it's like, ooh. Another good <laughs> kill. I'll mention this. Another good kill is uh, the girl at the end uh, when the mother... Um, oh, yeah. That was her. just cathartic. <laughs> the last kill. And then this movie does not have a happy ending. It does not, no. Because as they leave, they everybody's dead except the mother and the daughter. Yeah. And as they leave, all these children start coming out of the woods. Yeah. <laughs> the virus has passed on. And we're unsure if whether or not the oldest child, like, is she young enough to be infected? Or yeah. is she too old to be infected? We're not sure, because at the end, they focus on her a lot and they're escaping. But it's not answered completely. She looks sick, but she's also traumatized. Yeah. So I'm thinking, honestly, <clears throat> if it's only going to the kids, I think she's traumatized. I'm thinking it's a trauma thing, but also it could be. This This has a really dark ending. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check out the children. I gave it a 7.5. You gave it a, gave a 7. It a seven yeah. The only reason why it's not like an 8-ish or an above is because it's not very Christmassy. Like, it no. doesn't have that, and it also doesn't have that nasty ghoulishness that we like. It does the, not, no. the really twisted it's fuckery. More a, it's more of a serious <clears throat> movie, so. I'm losing my voice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, overall, 7.25 out of 10 for us, and we think you really should check it out. It is, it is really, pretty really nasty. So, we will see you for day three tomorrow, and it's a new one for us. We're mm -hmm. going to be doing a foreign film. We don't watch a lot of foreign films, which is sad. And tomorrow, we're going to be doing Rare Exports. So we're actually going to go watch that now, and that's, I'm really excited about that one. Because I've never seen looks, Rare Exports, and it looks it looks dark and yeah. weird. It looks weird, and I like weird. Mm -hmm. So we will see you for day three, day two, three. What's day tomorrow? Three. Day three. Tomorrow's day three. We'll see you for day three tomorrow. Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs>